Good morning, boys and girls. I want to go over bodies of water with you. I'm going to start by looking at this book. What makes a water body? A water body is any large amount of water. It is mainly on Earth's surface. It can be contained in one place, like a lake, or it can move from place to place, like a stream. You are water. Let's look at this fun fact below. Did you know that water is right where you are right now? It's true. You are more than half water. But you are not a water body. Okay, boys and girls. Let's move on to see some examples of bodies of water. The first two examples they have on page 7 are ponds and rivers. The next example of a body of water are oceans. Oceans. Almost all Earth's water is in oceans. These are huge bodies of water. They cover most of Earth. Oceans are made of salt water. Lots of plants and animals call the ocean their home. But people have only seen a small part of the world's oceans. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. On page 11, you will see the Mediterranean Sea. Salty seas. Seas are like oceans, but they are blocked in by land on all or most sides. So you could see here, this area is the Mediterranean Sea, and it connects to the ocean. Okay, let's move on to another body of water, lakes. A lake is a large body of mainly still water. Still means it doesn't move. It is fresh water. That means that it's not salty the way ocean water is. The lake is mainly contained. Rivers and streams flow to or from lakes and they may feed the lake that means they may go into the lake okay they may connect the water between the two or they may empty it here's an example on page 12 this is lake mcdonald lake mcdonald has rivers that flow into it and rivers that flow out of it. So the lake itself is pretty still, meaning it doesn't really move. But on one part of the lake, there is a river coming into it, filling it with water. And on another part of the lake, there is a river flowing out of it. So some of the water is coming out. Moving on to page 13. Most lakes are made by nature. Some lakes are made by people. Either way, Many people enjoy spending time at lakes. I enjoy spending time at the lake where my vacation house is in Pennsylvania. The lake I go to is actually a man-made a man-made lake. It was made by people making the lake themselves. Okay, moving on to ponds. A pond is a small lake. It is made of fresh water. Many plants and animals live there. Frogs and ducks are happy there. It is a common spot for bugs, too. Okay, we're just going to move on. Wetlands. A wetland is a land that is usually soaked with water. The water may not always be there, but it will return. A wetland is filled with plant life. The plants do well in the soggy soil. You could see some pictures here of what a wetland would look like. Water in a wetland can be fresh water or salt water. Swamps, marshes, and bogs are types of wetlands. So you might have heard of a marsh or a swamp, and those are basically uh, just a type of wetland. Moving on to rivers, a river is a water body that follows a path. It flows toward a larger body of water. The river may end underground, or it may dry out. Some rivers are wide, and some are narrow. Wide means kind of thick, and 
narrow means kind of skinny. There are no rules about the size of a river. So on page 18, I see a special fact here about streams. Sh are streams and rivers different? Mm, not really, although people often think of streams as being smaller than rivers. And I believe that is true. I believe that streams are a smaller type of river. River water is usually fresh water. Here is an example of a river. This is the Nile River in Egypt. We're on page 19 here. The Nile River in Egypt is the longest river in the world. So, boys and girls, moving on, I just wanted to show you some pictures in another book. It has really great pictures. Water covers most of Earth. It is in oceans. It is in lakes. You can see the land surrounding the lake. You can even see a small island right here in the center of the lake. It is in ponds. A pond is basically like a small lake. Still water surrounded by land. It is in swamps. A swamp is a type of wetland. It is in rivers. Rivers are usually fresh water. And usually rivers move. It is in streams. Streams are smaller types of rivers. Water is all around us. Here's an example of a river coming down into a waterfall, meeting another body of water beneath. This is a huge, huge waterfall. The end. Next, boys and girls, I want to go over what a glacier is. So I just want to let you know that glaciers are slowly moving masses or rivers of ice that were formed by compacted snow from mountains. Here are some pictures for you to see. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.